everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to Notting Hill. So I used to live in Notting Hill so I know it very very well and I'm absolutely in love with this place. So I wanted to do a little bit of a tour guide, like a London guide and today is going to be Notting Hill. Notting Hill has so much to offer in terms of food mainly but also the shops, the markets, it's such a great place. So I'm going to give you a bit of a tour, show you where to eat, where to get brunch, where to get smoothies, coffee, everything. So come along with me today. So first stop, brunch at Farm Girl. This is such a great place. Easy to miss, but it's through the store. It is very popular though, so be prepared to queue, but it's worth it, I promise. And don't be scared to sit outside because we've got heaters up here. So it's nice and warm. And it's the most like photogenic out here as well, so you can get a good pic. This heat is just dreamy right now. I love it in here. It is like a proper little courtyard. It's so, so pretty. Food has arrived. We've got some apple pancakes here. The most beautiful rose latte in the world. And we've got an acai bowl to share because I was indecisive and couldn't pick what to get. <laughs> and then we got some avo toast because that's always easy. You know, it's going to be good. And then this is a blue butterfly matcha. So it's like a matcha latte with coconut milk, but it's blue. <laughs> so pretty. Brunch was absolutely delicious as always. I love Farm Girl, you've got to check it out if you ever are around Notting Hill. So my next tip is to now go and walk to Westbourne Grove. This is like my favorite area of Notting Hill and not many people actually know to come here. So rather than going straight down Portobello Road, which is like the busiest and um, most like hectic touristy spot, go to Westbourne Grove and there's some beautiful shops and cafes. Just walking past Bodyism now, which is one of my favorite places. Really great smoothies there. But they've got so many lovely little boutique shops. It's just nice to have a little wander around. Oh, today was just a day, and you dealt with it okay. But tomorrow is a boy who needs to run. You've seen it all before, and you've knocked on all the doors. But tomorrow is a funny looking one. I absolutely love Dalesford. They've got some great little, like, fruit and veg and stuff like that, and a um, nice little bakery and good homeware as well downstairs. That rhubarb looks incredible. So many amazing produce. I don't think vegetables have ever looked so delicious. <laughs> they just look so vibrant and fresh. In Dalesford, they have the most delicious smelling botanical candles. So many gorgeous flavors. They've even got a um, vine tomato, but my favorite fragrance is this fig leaf. It's amazing. One of my other favorite shops to go and have a look in is Brissy. They have got some gorgeous homewares, and I just love coming in here and just having a little look. It's actually quite relaxing, just walking around looking at homeware stuff. It almost feels like you're just walking around someone's home. So lovely. I love these. You could literally have your cereal in these. I have a couple like this at home now already. It's just such a lovely road to just go and wander around, window shopping. Got some gorgeous shops like Sandro here as well. So once you've had a look around here, I would cross this zebra crossing. And we're gonna go over here. So, one of my favorite chocolate shops is over here. So here it is, it's called Melt. And they have the most unbelievable chocolate ever. So it's nice to just come in, have a little look, and maybe buy some chocolate. So there's some amazing truffles here. And we've got some dairy-free truffles there, if you are vegan. And then also like most of their dark chocolate is dairy-free as well. I love these um, dark chocolate covered orange pieces. I just think it's the prettiest chocolate shop. Look at this little window seat around here, it's so pretty. Um, dark chocolate buttons. They've actually got salt, so like salted dark chocolate. So amazing. Also, I just discovered this. It's like a dark chocolate slab with popcorn in there. I mean, popcorn and chocolate is the best combo ever, so I can't wait to have that tonight. 
So my next stop is Wild at Heart. You might have seen this on Instagram already because it's obviously incredibly beautiful. It definitely makes an appearance on many Instagram accounts. It's just so lovely to come and have a look at the flowers because they always have just such gorgeous little bouquets that you can buy. But it's just nice to have a look. Maybe take a pic if you want as well. So I bought these gorgeous flowers from Wild at Heart. Can't wait to take them home later. This is the market on Portobello Road. So it happens normally at the weekends, but also on Fridays. It's great, it's worth, you know, a visit, but obviously, because I lived here for two years, it's not something I would necessarily like advise everyone to do. It's the most well-known thing to do in Notting Hill, and it is great, you can pick up some nice things. Um, but because I'm very like used to it, and it's quite, it's a bit of a tourist trap, so I want to show you more of like the alternative things um, in Notting Hill aside from like, you know, the tourist things. So once you've crossed Portobello, you want to come along to Kensington Park Road and there are some really pretty shops. This one here, this is a bookshop, Lutzians and Rubenstein. This is my favorite bookshop in London. It's very, very small, but they just have such a great selection and it's so peaceful in there. Now, if you're a fan of Notting Hill, the film, you will know that there's a really famous Notting Hill bookshop in Notting Hill, of course. It's like nice, it's a tourist trap, so I wouldn't necessarily like actually go there to buy a book. It's good to like go and have a look if you want to. Um, but if you're after a good bookshop, this is your guy. And then right opposite is Biscuiteers. This is the most incredible biscuit shop. Unfortunately, they don't have anything that's vegan, but I just love always walking past the window and seeing their decorations. They've got a royal wedding themed window right now. And then just some really great biscuits as well inside. These are great presents, people. I always buy family them for birthdays and Christmas. Oh, I love these ones at the top, Notting Hill. So this is the original Notting Hill bookshop, which is literally around the corner, but right next door we have got Donut Time. Oh my goodness, you will not believe how incredible these donuts are. They do have vegan options as well, and they're absolutely unbelievable. So if you feel peckish at this point on your adventures in Notting Hill, definitely pop in here and grab yourself a donut or two. Tonkotsu behind me is a great ramen bar. Uh, I used to go there quite a lot uh, in the evenings, it's great for dinner, but um, we're not going to go there, we've obviously had lunch and everything, but I want to show you right opposite is a place called Books for Cooks. This is like a secret hidden gem. If you're into cooking, if you're a foodie, you've got to go here, it's basically a cookbook shop, but they've got a cafe at the back where they create amazing food from the books and every day it's different. So this is it, Books for Cooks. Let's have a little look inside, see what's on the menu. So the cafe, apparently it's open Tuesday to Saturday, um, just for lunch only, and anyone is welcome. You just go and they basically serve until they run out of food. Tuesdays are vegetarian days, and then Wednesdays and Thursdays are meat, and then Fridays are fish. So I'm definitely gonna go and check out that on a Tuesday one afternoon. I love the idea. Every day they just pick a different cookbook and cook a recipe from there. So they said it's more like a test kitchen than a cafe, which I like. You've always got great buskers around here. So I know I said the main part of the market in, on Portobello Road really isn't that worth going to, but the food market definitely is. I used to genuinely just buy fruit and veg from the market all the time. It's so fresh and so cheap as well, and I just love it. So another one of my favourite places to come in Notting Hill is Graham and Green. They've just got the most incredible homeware stuff in here. Every time I go in here I spot something I want in my home. <laughs> So after wandering around the shops and just eating really, really well today, I'm actually really hungry though again, bizarrely. Um, <laughs> I've now wandered uh, along Westbourne Grove, which is quite a long road, and there's some really lovely little shops to pop into on the way as well. And I've come to a place called Pharmacy, and I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before on Instagram and vlogs and stuff, because it's literally, I think, my favorite restaurant in London. It's all fully plant-based, but it's one of those restaurants that doesn't seem plant-based, and lots of people come here that aren't vegan. Um, so I'd highly recommend it. So I'm meeting Joe here now. So this is 
pharmacy. They've always got gorgeous flowers outside. They're always um, for each particular season. Joe apparently is here in the back, so let's go and find him. So we've gone for the seasonal pizzetta to start. It's got like a green superfood paste and roasted butternut squash. Looks great. So for the main, I got this chickpea quesadilla with a side of sweet potato and Joe got a burger. Yum. <laughs> So you need to up your fries there. <laughs> so we have come to a bar called The Distillery and they kind of specialise in gin. And I love a nice gin and tonic, so I definitely recommend coming to this place. I definitely won. <laughs> Cheers. Look at the size of this glass. You've got like a shot of gin and I've got a bucket. You can still be in the film, but it's all over the place. It's so tasty. I love it. 